Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here, and today I'm going to be telling you how to fix a really annoying bug with a version of MySQL bundled with XAMPP. Now on some people's Macs, and this has been known to happen under both Yosemite and El Capitan, MySQL just refuses to start. You can click the start button as many times as you like, and the status goes to starting, and then eventually after a long wait, just goes back to stopped again. So here's two solutions to fix this bug. Now the fix that I'll show you first is the easiest one. Simply go to your Applications folder, scroll down a bit and double click on your XAMPP folder. Find the ETC folder and then double click on that. And then inside this folder you'll find a file called my.conf, so here it is. You want to open this in a plain text editor, like TextEdit. So I'll just right click on the file, go to Open With, and then I'll click on Other. It'll then open this window with all of your installed applications. Just scroll down until you find text edit, so here it is, and then click open. So now we've got the file open in text edit, and then you want to just scroll down and find this section down here, the one that begins with the MySQL server comment. So you simply just want to change this port number, which is 3306 at the moment, to 3308. You might also like to change the port number under the first section in the file, the one which says the following options will be passed to all MySQL clients. So you can change it in both places if you want. So I'll just do that, and then I will save the file, and close and reopen XAMPP. MySQL should now start up perfectly. But what if this fix simply doesn't work for you? Then believe it or not, there's another option, but be warned that it is more challenging. So to start off with, you want to open your Applications folder, go to the XAMPP folder, and then double click on XAMPP files. Now inside this folder, there should be a file called, well quite appropriately, XAMPP. So you want to open this file with a plain text editor. So I'll right click on it, go to Open With, click other, and then scroll down a little bit in this window until I find text edit, and then I'll click open. So this is the file, and you can see that it looks a bit more complicated than the other one, but what we need to do is actually quite simple. So just scroll down a bit until you find the function to start MySQL. So here it is, and then all you need to do is before this line, this XAMPP root bin MySQL server line, just type this, type unset dyld underscore library underscore path, just like this. So if you want to make sure that you type it correctly, I've put it in the description of this video. So you can simply copy this line and then just paste it in. Now all you need to do is save this file, close it, and then close and reopen XAMPP. You should have MySQL back up and running in no time. So I hope that these solutions helped you solve the issue. If they did, then please subscribe to my channel for more tech videos, and do feel free to give this video a like. I'm Handy Andy, and thank you so much for watching.